this is Lisa, and this is actually episode two of our crochet creating with Lisa. A free form, no pattern, CC along is what I'm calling it. This is our circular center virus shawl vest for fall. Yes. Today is Thursday, September 22nd, the autumnal equinox, and it is the perfect time to start our fall circular center virus shawl vest for the season. Now my first video went over yarns. I don't want you to feel pressured into using yarns. Don't go on eBay and pay $20 for these. They're going to be released in a couple weeks. But episode one was yarn selection. Other videos just for a review that I'd like you to watch and do before you start this is my virus shawl tutorial which is just the triangular virus shawl itself. Do, a, do one or two of those. They work up really quickly. And also my ebb tide video where you learn how I do the mesh stitches and that's M-E-S-H mesh stitches because I do them a little bit different and we'll be talking about that a little bit and yes you're right there's not going to be a pattern I am a maker I am a creator a free form crocheter but I will do this along with you on my website and all over the internet by the way if you just google virus shawl a ton of charts will come up go ahead I'll link my website below for the easiest because we will be working with just that half and in fact I did it for you print off two copies and tape them together now this is what we're going to be working with right here this is now a magic circle and we're just going to start with this little bit now these episodes will come in short little spurts one because an hour and a half long tutorial takes eight to twelve hours to upload so I thought we'd keep this sweet and simple keep the creative flow going you'll see me cutting up these yarns to get to the colors I actually want and to explain it a little further and I feel a bit like Mikey from Crochet Crowd here with his fancy drawings just like this that's a pencil eraser ignore that but what we're going to do right now is a magic circle and what you're going to do is put the two sides of the virus shawl together to create right here this tiny portion right here is what we're going to do right now and it's so easy I mean anybody can put those together you're going to do 20 on one side 20 on the other you're going to slip stitch them together and what I want you to do is go ahead and use stitch markers now these stitch markers will be carried up and through the rest of your vest so please use them now what you should know how to do all the basic stitches. I'm going to call this intermediate confident beginner and you're going to start with your magic circle however you happen to make yours and with the magic of photograph and video. Hmm, I've already done mine. And so here we are. I have 40 stitches total around here. And what we're going to do is slip stitch into the top right here and then start creating our basis for the virus shawl. So if you think about it, you're making two virus shawls put together. This is your center back and we will start creating that center back for you. I am using a size K hook with Karen Yarns 
because it's a little bit thicker, I typically like an L hook, but this one's not in line. So I feel that teaching a tutorial without an inline hook is a little difficult for me because I can't get real close and hang on to my stitches just as tight as I want to. So go ahead, cast your magic circle, and put on 40 double crochet stitches and meet me right back here. After you finished, your magic circle, which is represented by this dark line right here, and you've made your double crochet, do remember that your chain three counts as your first in the next set of 20 stitches around. Now what I've done is I've marked each half, so if you look at this, I'm making two separate virus shawls made together and I've marked each half here with a safety pin and I put it on top of my chain three. When I get over here I will also chain three or double crochet and place this on the top of that one so in the next round I know the difference between my two sides and what you're going to do is just exactly like working a virus shawl and that's why it's so important that you view that video first is to make sure you know how to do a virus shawl before you get into the circular center. It's simply putting two virus shawls together and making a beautiful circular center vest. So let's do our round two of our double crochet which is represented right here on our chart and pattern and I will do my website I will take a picture of this and list it on my website as a JPEG so you can download it in case you don't feel like taping the other two together so join me back here and we'll work on the next round Welcome back. We are finished with our first two rows of double crochet. And just a little reminder, when you make your chain of three, remember to keep it loose. I had to do a fishing expedition with a smaller hook because unlike the virus shawl in my virus shawl tutorial where I was saying if the stitches are too tight just loop around you really do want to connect this needs to be a solid circle you really do want to connect to the top of each stitch and not just circle around it this this is a complete circle and our next step just like our virus shawl here remember you are just duplicating. Here's your virus shawl. That's your virus shawl start. This is no more complicated than a normal virus shawl. You're just doing two at a time. You have a crochet or knit socks. You do two at a time so they're the same. That's basically what we're doing here but ours are joined with a slip stitch. So round three. This is where you do double crochet space. Double crochet space. I'm starting with my chain three. That counts as your first stitch. Do another one to make four so that's a double crochet space in essence and meet me back here and with the magic of photography we'll be done with our third row Welcome back. You just completed your double crochet, single crochet space, double crochet, single crochet space that would be represented on this right here space. So you just did this circle right here. Now let's stop and check where we're at. You should have 40 
double crochet. Please count that. I want you to notice another pattern that is happening. Your chain threes are forming a straight line now. I just pulled it apart, but it is a straight line now. So that will be your guide to let you know the start of your first set of 20. And remember, when you made your chain three and another single, you went on top of the chain three and not in the chain four space. So there we are. We are now chaining seven. Unlike the original directions, which have you doing seven plus a double crochet, which is technically ten stitches, we are sticking to seven. So basically, you want all these holes right here if you will, to be seven spaces. I found in my first one that if I followed the regular pattern and did the ten, which is the seven stitches plus a double crochet, it didn't work. You need to stick to just seven, so chain up seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Chain up seven, and then you are going to follow your pattern along just like you did before. You only have seven. Anchor it down in that chain space. Four, anchor it down. Four, anchor it down. Four, anchor it down. Yes, you are doing two sets of seven here. So seven, anchor, seven, anchor. And then right here again, all the way around until you are doing. Now remember when you get to your marker space over here, I want, want you to keep in mind you're doing two, so flip it in half. There's no chain seven, no, there's no chain ten over here. You keep it seven. Okay? So hopefully we'll do that part of our crochet. So what you're going to do this time, count. Make sure you have 40. Make sure all your chains are in a row here because this will be your guide for the rest of the pattern and then let's create our change to start the real pattern Welcome back, and we have completed the first round of the basis of our circular center virus shawl vest. Very important that this be correct, so I want you to count all the way around. Make sure before you even begin doing your chains that you have 40 all the way around here. And as you can see, we're ending up correctly here. We've got two doubles, a three, skip a space, and then this one is going to go right here, right next to our starting seven here, and I'm just going to slip stitch that together. There you go. So what you have now, in essence, is a circular project that matches completely no matter how you fold it. That's your double check. Just like in the virus shawl when I had you fold the triangles together to check to make sure it matches, you're doing the same thing with your circular project as well. Well thank you for joining me for week one. We had our yarn episode on Monday and today is Thursday, the first day of fall and the perfect, perfect day to begin our crochet creating with Lisa, a free form, no pattern, CC along, and that stands for a circular center virus shawl vest for fall. As always, I thank you for liking watching 
and subscribing to your channel. Stay tuned the next week for episode three. Have a great weekend, everybody. Goodbye.